Uh, Bibby Stockholm, you're all familiar with that by now. The migrants were taken off because of Legionella. Uh, well, today they are back on. But I have to show you this clip. It's very bizarre. Uh, just stop oil. You heard me right. <laughs> they got involved with their two pence worth. Look at the state of this. So this is the coach apparently um, carrying some of these migrants to the Bibby Stockholm. Just Stop Oil, being uh, Just Stop Oil, decided to sit in front of that coach and do their level best uh, to stop it. I have to say, uh, not very successfully because the coach driver was having absolutely none of it, uh, carried on uh, driving. There was a very hysterical tweet that followed, if you ask me from Just Stop Oil, they reckoned that there was, I quote, I think it's intention to kill by the driver. I mean, come on now. Uh, I mean, where do we even begin with this, well, Alex? I'll begin by saying this. From, from time to time, you get a perfectly kind of mainstream, normal account on Twitter come out with some vitriolic bit of abuse, and you realise the person responsible for running that corporate account has failed to log into their personal account <laughs> in order to deliver their hate for the day. And that reminds me, reminded me of this. Because what is this to do with Just Stop Oil? Well, it's like they forgot to log out of their account. They, and they just they they deployed... They yeah. They, they, they oh, deployed no, the same doing? individuals who do feel this way and they're basically, you know, they hate the state being tr trying to control migrants and so forth. But you're not supposed to say the quiet part out loud. We're just dedicated to just stopping oil. I forgot to log out of the account. Sorry, I sent the wrong 20 activists down to try and stop a lorry. Yeah. So I, I, I thought if you don't like um, the accommodation we've got, you can lump it, is my view. Um, intention to kill. I don't know if I can bring the tweet up. It says, we're saddened to report that we were unable to halt transportation of refugees to the prison. The prison. Yeah, you did hear that right. Uh, the driver rammed through the block, risking killing those in front. We needed more people. We can't do this alone. Oh, do you know what? I nearly, I nearly swore. Uh, Aaron, you go. I'll save you, Michelle. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I think many, many people agree with the aims of Just Stop Oil in terms of, in the long term, we need to get ourselves off fossil fuels. They might not agree with their tactics. And then many people will agree that, you know, perhaps the BB Stockholm isn't the best way to deal with refugees in this country. Uh, you know, people might agree or disagree with that. But I think, you know, the idea that these are somehow coterminous as causes yes. and they require the same protest tactics is quite, quite strange to me. I mean, they could have just put on different T-shirts. And I mean, maybe it seems mean, but I, I don't really understand the strategic intelligence here of conflating the very important issues of um, getting off fossil fuels in the long term. I think that includes nuclear, personally. Um, and having a, a sensible human rights-based immigration policy. We, we disagree on that issue, especially about nuclear. But I've got to tell you, this reinforces for many people their worst view about Just Stop Oil, which is they're just a bunch of rent mob well, yeah, and John uh, says the next time someone calls Bibby Stockholm a prison, uh, which is what the Just Stop Oil just called it, and that's what you'll be familiar with, uh, John says the next time someone does call it a prison, please can you remind them that this barge uh, was used to accommodate our forces personnel when down in the Falklands. So if it was good enough for troops, why all of a sudden is it not good enough uh, for these people Migrants. Um, that is a very, very fair point. Before I leave the show, I have to pick up a, a viewer conversation. Uh, Nick wrote in and asked me, Michelle, uh, how do you cope doing your job? Because the news is so depressing, doom and gloom and all the rest of it. How do you manage your mental health? And I think that's a very fair point, Alex, because... There is so much negativity going on in this world, isn't there? Sure. Um, do you find that? Do you feel... I feel very positive about the world and I feel optimistic about um, our future as a race and uh, as a country and a, when I would say race I mean as a species I, feel, <laughs> I think that human, you know, our life expectancy has in increased beyond everything our forebears knew level of education, level of, of life enjoyment as well as expectancy um, I think if you take the long term view you'll see actually our future is much brighter than people think uh, Aaron, your thoughts? I'm also very optimistic brilliant people are doing brilliant things every day you just have to go and find the stories yeah, and I think actually, um, you know, we can dip in and out of things. My job's slightly different because I do have to be absorbed morning, yeah. noon and night. And I am human to Nick's comment that it does affect me. Yeah, but it does. How can it not, how can it not affect anybody to be looking all the time at, you know, children being uh, murdered? There's no sure. word for it and all this. You know, and all you can do is to, to everybody's point. One could be a coroner. One could be doing autopsies. One could yeah. be police investigating serious offences for the police. In the end, we ain't down the pits.
Yeah, and there is a lot of good in this world. And to your point, we have to try and find it. And I have often said I would love to cover a positive stories on this programme. So if anyone is aware uh, of great positive things or maybe you're doing stuff yourself in your own life, uh, you can get in touch and let me know about that because uh, I'd be fascinated in doing that too. John, a uh, different John, says about the water bosses. Yes, they should be ultimately accountable. Uh, these people know what's going on in their organisations. And if they don't, then they've failed at their jobs anyway. Good point. Uh, he says they reap the benefits benefits with their high salaries and bonuses and if you want to take the pay you have to take the responsibility and thus you take the consequences. Uh, ben says, can I just say it's absolutely right and proper that any migrants that are put on the Bibi Stockholm should indeed be told by the government that if they refuse to board they will indeed lose their benefits. That has divided people but I have to say um, I am agreeing with Ben. I think you said I that do. you agreed as well. Do you agree with that, that if you don't get on the Bibi uh, you're going to lose your support? Well I think it's a stunt for the Conservative Party but that's that's another conversation. Why do you think it's a stunt for the Tories? Well, I think they've just failed so massively on particularly legal migration. 600,000 people came into this country last year in terms of net migration. I think they're focusing on illegal migration. And I think Rwanda, Bibi Stockholm, I think fundamentally are about trying to conjure something in the media to save their poll ratings. I'm sure some people disagree. I think they view this as a political stunt rather than a long-term part of a successful immigration and asylum policy. Uh, Kathleen says, why are these people not working? Uh, they should lose their benefits. But I don't know whether or not you mean the Just Stop Oil people or the people <laughs> on... I don't know. There's a, there's a fine line. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on uh, with the Just Stop Oil people. Uh, one thing I do want to say, though... I really hope that that Just Stop Oil driver doesn't lose his job uh, because I bet my bottom dollar there'll yeah, be a campaign too. soon to try and make him do so. You know what? He's a hard-working guy trying to earn a living, support his family, trying to do his job, get people from A to B. Why do Just Stop Oil think that they somehow have the right uh, to stop people going about their business?